hell was that? I don't know what was that's gonna come out! Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Norwegian Ghost This next scary video is from Norway, where we see three girls sitting around playing with a homemade Ouija board. Well, it's either a homemade Ouija board or a Japanese Kokori San board. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, as one girl films, nothing much happens at first, but then things take a very unexpected turn. You could say hi or be like, is anybody there? You have to invite it. Stop, hi. See, this is what we did when we were kids. We would like get a homemade Ouija board and we'll be just like draw on paper and everything and then afterwards I don't know if I was like supposed to do it because I wouldn't do it now I really shouldn't have done it then but like all we did was we'd get a bit of paper we'd draw all over it like you know the, how it's supposed to look a plastic tumbler or a glass really a plastic tumbler I no sorry a glass we use a glass and then afterwards when we'd been done with it we blew in the glass like we picked it up went like that and as if like that was to mysteriously make the ghost disappear I don't know if you're supposed to do that but that's what we did <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> the ghost wanting is the the vodka cola thing. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't go home either. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you're just screwed now. Oh, that chandelier is just gonna go. I'm waiting for it to fall down. Their eyes are really creepy. <laughs> this is the camera camera glare. Oh. I heard a knock. It sounded like a knock. Okay, this is a sign. Chandelier falls. Oh my god, I'm waiting for that chandelier to fall. Or the door handle to jiggle. Oh, it's moving! It's gonna try! It's gonna try and ruin the fucking chandelier. <laughs> it's trying, it's shaking it, it's just like, I'll eventually get this down! Oh, like it's doing it! Oh, no way! <laughs> Run! Run! If there's one thing to be learned from this creepy video, it's that when you're messing with ghosts on a Ouija board, never say, quote, it's not working. <laughs> or, quote, show us a sign. No. So, do you think this is a scary video of a summoned ghost caught on camera? Or is it just some bored Norwegian girls pulling a prank? Let me um, know. Um, no, I think it was videos. real.
Newest top five viewers and first time paranormal explorers Salem and Faraz travel to the abandoned Excellencia Hotel Suites in the city of Amman, Jordan. They plan to conduct a nighttime exploration of the creepy nine story building. The hotel is said to be haunted after a tragic event that happened five years ago. A man found his wife cheating on him in a hotel room <gasps> on the third floor. Oh. In a rage, the man took her life and that of her lover. Oh my god. Soon after, the hotel was forced to shut down after receiving a bad reputation, and guests <sighs> began to claim that they experienced a constant dreadful feeling of being watched. Oh my god. However, so that one person fucked it for the hotel. <laughs> real and very much alive people during their exploration, as they too feel like they're being watched and followed. When they reached oh. the supposedly haunted third floor, the explorers experienced something downright chilling. Oh my god. What? See, like, watching this, like, I really want to go to somewhere like this. It looks so much fun and so scary, but I'd probably get, like, so frightened and then I'd want to run out. But I want to, I want to go there and I want to, like, I want to be watched and that sounds really fucking weird, but <laughs> I want to go. So, like, I want to feel what it must be like to be watched by a ghost. Like, it must be so bizarre. Like, as if some, like, a person, like a... A 3D person is watching you, you know, not a a ghostly thing, you know? I think it would be such an odd experience and I kind of want to experience it. But I'd also be frightened, you know, I'd have to have a doggy companion and my partner and a, a weapon and some holy water and all the other shit too. That and, and the doggy companion can't run away. It has to, it can't be like Fang from Harry Potter. <laughs> it can't be a coward. It has to be more brave than I. I think that would be really fun. Did this. This is not cool. This is not cool. Is something down there? Is something down there? Oh! Okay. okay. Since we entered this place, we can't get a good feeling out of this. I, feel like I wonder who's watching. Is it the the like the husband ghost that was enraged? Is it him? Okay. Is the room? Sure. They say this is the room that they got killed in. It. I'm not planning to go in. I'll go in. See what happens. Go in. go in. Oh, that's creepy. What if they get attacked because them um, th because the wife had the affair? What if they get attacked because they're dudes and like the the husband is just that, that enraged, like a really enraged spirit, and um, every time he sees just like another guy, and he just reminds him of what his wife got up to, and he attacks them. What if that's like what happens? That's creepy if that does, and a shame. Oh well. <laughs> what? The Someone was here. Oh yeah, there's clothes on the floor. And in the bath. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! It's because they threw the camera at the door and I got fright. It's like a... I think there's someone like a squatter or something living in there. With lots of um, do not disturb signs. sure? What the hell? Whoa! Oh shit! He felt that something was watching them, and when analyzing the footage, a strange, bizarre shape can be seen in the room at the end of the hallway. Oh my God! Camera back to the hallway. Nothing there. Then his friend Fares claims to have seen someone in the hotel room where the tragic event took place, and they both just make a run for it. In the last shot, a terrifying figure can be seen watching the two friends. Oh, that's so creepy. By. 
So did something paranormal chase them out of the hotel? I would say so, just, yeah. What is What? <laughs> what was and that? You to decide. Oh if no. The full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Salem and Fares, GHT. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Now this next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's top 5 viewer, Pastor Aaron from Peace Memorial Church in Oregon. Pastor Aaron explains in his email that because of the current global health crisis, he was attempting to record announcements for the church's temporary online services. He's using his phone to record a video when he is interrupted by something that he just can't explain. Oh. Well, hey everybody, Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Wow. Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and poor guys, he's trying uh, to do his recording, and he can't because the ghost wants there, attention. Fallen over on its own, and it's. It's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like the, that uh, podium Damn. has been wobbling. Okay, so there's we checked the vent. There's a vent there that is not an air duct that has any forced air at all, so it can't be wobbling from that. I wonder there's if there's no a point. Reason. I wonder if there's a point where this this guy is like really trying to do his recording, and then um, he's like on the fifth or sixth take or something. He just turns around. And he's like, "Where you fuck off, ghosts? <laughs> Go away! I'm trying to do the freaking recording so I can then get home to have my dinner. I can't be arsed with your shenanigans today." And then the ghost just like kind of pushes it like in a bratty way, and then just leaves. <laughs> And the door just slams shut. That'd be so funny. In here, you can see by the banner there. There's this no, no air conditioning. It's these things. They're off. I don't know. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch it for a little bit, and uh, we will I'll see if it does it again. Oh, now they're shaking it. the flag. That hasn't been moving. Damn. That's new. Seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Wow. What the hell? Good grief. Good grief indeed. Pastor Aaron says that he has used the podium for years and it has never once been wobbly or suddenly fallen over. Even stranger, the flagpole next to the podium begins to move on its own as well. The pastor explains that nothing spooky or paranormal has ever happened at the church, but he says that a few times he has been called to help families who were dealing with paranormal events at their homes. Oh, so, so the ghost followed him back. Pastor Aaron back to the church? Yes. Let me know what you think. Pastor Aaron is going to be the new Warrens, for sure. <laughs> this next video was sent in by Nate Howard from Providence, Utah. Nate says in his email that he and his family moved to their new rental home just four months ago, and almost immediately they began to experience very creepy and unexplainable activity. The family hears the unexplained sound of multiple people walking around the house. Doors and cupboards open and close on their own, and lights in the house turn on and off at all hours of the night. After being woken by these bizarre noises several times, the family decided to set up a few security cameras around the home. Two days later, Nate discovers one of the cameras has recorded something absolutely chilling. Oh, okay. Really nice kitchen. That looks like orbs. <gasps> what was that? That was a person. That was a person. Or Unless it was one of their family members. What's that? As a strange shadow figure appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's a person. He's baffled by what they've captured on camera and is worried that the cameras might have somehow triggered whatever might be haunting their new home. But what do you think this could be? No, it's not. No, that's not a ghost for sure. That's that's someone living in the freaking house. Like, 
in the basement or something if they have a basement that's someone living there that's so fucking scary before we move on to the next video if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five contact us at nukes top five at gmail.com the kids in the hall oh that was the end of that video oh okay we need to talk about that that looked like someone actually lived there that did not look like someone like it was it did not look like a ghost that was too real people looking to look like a ghost like it was a proper like physical shape or it was a hoax one of the two but if it's going to be actually a real thing excuse me it looks like somebody that lived in the house like a squatter living in the basement come up at night because there was a video i seen ages ago and it was a woman that was living in someone's house and i think they lived in the attic and they would come down into the kitchen and top of the fridge and there was like i can't remember where the video is so if anyone like knows the, the video i'm talking about let me know in like the comments below but um yeah it was really creepy she'd come down from the kit to the kitchen and she would steal the food and they managed to catch it on video and she'd been living there for ages it's so weird so bizarre like imagine if like you're just living in your house and you hear all these noises and you think it's a ghost because that's what you kind of would well i would think it would be a ghost and you'd be sort of sc getting scared but i think someone literally living in your house like a real freaking person living there is far more terrifying because like they can freaking hurt you a ghost probably could if it was bad and evil but still colin from the youtube channel the bearded explorer often finds himself in some of the creepiest abandoned locations in england but he says he's never been to one as scary as this a <gasps> hospital that was built in 1882 to treat children suffering it's in England. Well, that's not that far from Scotland, so perhaps we could travel down there and go and find this um, place if it's still uh, well, allowed to be kind of, you know, explored and things, because that'd be fun. Suffering from horrible infectious diseases. The large structure closed down in the 1980s and has been left to rot ever since. Considering the building's tragic history, it's no wonder that Colin feels a little creeped out as he heads inside completely alone to explore the old hospital. But it gets worse because he starts to hear some very odd sounds. Oh. God, this is really creepy. Do you know what I hate? I, I love it, but I hate it at the same time walk around these places on your own because- Yeah, why'd you go yourself? Right now, it, it feels like there's someone like Stoop right behind me following me. There's not, but it feels like that. Oh no. Oh, what a really like fucked up couch. Oh. Knock, knock. And like I said in a previous video, if you've um, seen it on my channel, I hate knocking noises. So, like, if the, there's like an actual like that, but properly, bang, bang, bang. I absolutely hate that. And it's terrifying. And this man's a fool. Why in the hell would you go yourself? Like, why? What? For adrenaline purposes, I suppose, but fucking hell, drink a coffee. Then you get adrenaline urges, I guess. At least I do, anyway. That's why I drink decaf if I ever have one. Oh my god. Why are you going in there? You zoom on your camera. That's what it's for. Oh no. Oh no. Someone's gonna be living there for sure. Someone's in there. Living. I think it was that thing there on the floor. Hello? Don't say that, they might reply. Understandably, Colin gets more and more freaked out by all the unexplained sounds that seem to be coming from somewhere very near him. He decides to just end his exploration, but before he does, he puts his camera down on the ground to get one last standard b-roll shot of himself walking the hospital hall. But instead, he captures something- I'd be taking some sort of chilling. weapon with me, especially if I'm by myself. What the hell? Now he's going for a week walk! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Why? Why? Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Can you see it? 
Colin is shocked when he sees what looks like the dark figure of a child standing at the end of the hallway. As he grabs up his camera, he captures just a glimpse of the childlike figure oh. as it disappears into thin air. Oh my god. Now, some people say that what Colin captured could just be explained away as a shadow or an optical illusion, while others are convinced that he did actually see the apparition. I was more got a fright from his run than I did hospital. the freaking ghost thing. So, a month later, and after many requests from his viewers, Colin returns to the. Oh, go back. <laughs> it's like the other. Oh, it's like that other dude when he. Um, Another video that's on my channel, and um, he he wasn't allowed to leave his viewers because it was a live thing. His viewers are like um, like like to stay, and that's when the lady in the hospital and her head went back, and I was just like, ah! but they're saying to him to return, and he's just like, but I get scared. No, return at night alone with no weapon, nothing. No, go back, check it out again. It probably goes without saying, but it did not go well. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> oh, poor guy. Why am I doing this? Because content. On my own. Oh my god, there's going to be something on the rims. That I saw something. I, I <sighs> don't know what it I'm was. getting goosebumps watching this. <laughs> it, it wasn't a shadow. I mean, I can show you guys now, right? This is... Basically, where I was standing, this this is where I was. The camera was literally so there. This is what you saw. Basically, that. Now I heard something. I cracked myself. I ran <laughs> back here, and as I picked it up, I went like that. My God, what was there? I saw something just behind that blue chair. Now, bearing in mind, I saw it with my own eyes. I didn't realise I had it on camera, but a lot of you guys were saying it's shadows, it's this, it's that, but. You know, I just cannot stress to you oh. enough that this wasn't a shadow. Honestly, God, I've got so much anxiety watching this. I'm expecting something to come out this window that's just behind um, my VTuber. I'm expecting something to come behind that freaking window, something to come out the other side, the, co the corridor. I am just, oh, no. no. I actually saw something move with my own eyes and... <sighs> I cannot reenact that, you know, that there is no shadow. What the hell was that? I don't know. Oh, it's oh, too quiet. Dripping. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm probably putting off going up there. Oh yes, I but... wouldn't go there either. Oh, jeez. Oh, Christ. stop it, you silly man. Just stop hearing noises it. all around me. Oh, right. well, just, no! Oh, Let's stop! It's when they pan the camera that bloody quick. Oh, banging and ringing. What the hell was that? I don't know. Maybe go forward. Have a wee wonder. Look. Oh no. What the hell was that? I don't know, but that's gonna come out. I'm sure I heard something. Oh, Denny, what are you doing? It's probably just the wind. Oh, probably I. The fucking wind. I felt that I had to come back here and just, just come here again and just see, you know, try and find a reason you know some like an explanation if you like to Whoa. oh my god but i never put it this is weird oh my god stop staring at nothing i think it is just what oh okay okay that's scary oh fuck me man jesus it's just water dripping but who knows? Oh, oh God, this is absolutely what the stop. F <laughs> no, I'm, I'm hearing noises all around me. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. And it's there creeping is... me out. <sighs> oh, I'm God, expecting I, something I, to appear right now. I am just so terrified right now. But me like too. Last visit, Colin again hears odd, unexplained noises coming from all around him. He heads up to the hospital's second floor, takes a look around, and then heads back down to the first floor hallway. He and went upstairs. A terrifying turn. <gasps> oh god. Oh god. What is it about this place? <sighs> I'm surprised it was stable upstairs. <sighs> oh, I hate this place, I really do. Oh, it was a breath. It was him breathing, I suppose. <gasps> Just listen. 
Ooh. Oh, he doesn't want to play with the ball. Run! Quick! A small red ball comes rolling out of one of the hospital rooms and Colin makes a run for it. Oh, God, After no. All that he's seen and heard at the old abandoned hospital, Colin says he'll never go nope. back alone. Good. He learned. The Took him three fucking times. Great Urbex videos over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Mother. Mother. Canadian paranormal investigator Jordan from the popular YouTube channel Paranormy sets out on a solo investigation to a small two-bedroom home in Winnipeg, Canada that is believed to be haunted by a troubled spirit. Oh. The house belongs to a man named Anesh who grew up in the home with his mother Manisha. But one day Anesh's beloved mother Manisha fell extremely ill. Refusing to go to the hospital, Manisha passed away on her own bed in the oh. home that she and Anesh shared. Oh, that's a shame. Anesh was absolutely devastated when he found her. Struck with intense, debilitating grief, he was unable to call the authorities for two days as he mourned. Today, Anesh believes that he made a terrible mistake by waiting so long, as his culture believes that a body must receive a proper burial ritual soon after death, or the spirit could become trapped and unable to move on. Oh. Anesh claims that his mother has appeared to him as a white cat, greeting him every day on his way to work. He has also seen his mother standing in his bedroom doorway after waking up in the middle of the night. Anesh says that the home has been so paranormally active that he truly believes the spirit of his mother is trapped inside. Paranormal investigator Jordan spends the night at the house in the hopes of helping Manisha's ghost pass on from its earthly bonds. Jordan decides to try a supernatural test. He leaves the motion-activated ball at the top of the stairs in the loft before continuing his investigations downstairs. Later, when he finds himself back at the staircase to the loft, he's in for a chilling surprise. Once it get moved or something, I'm guessing. Oh! Oh, so it lights up, okay. Okay, I think. Oh, the ball's going off right now. Can you touch it again? Oh, it's just touch it. Right, I see. Thank you for being active and using the equipment. Don't be so Let scary. If you just like appeared, with our hands to, over the thing, you went. <laughs> That'd be creepy as hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a noise. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Whoa. Oh. What? Now this thing can't, doesn't light up at all. Oh, she broke it. He checks the upstairs loft but doesn't find any explanation as to how the little ball could have suddenly launched itself down the stairs. When Jordan heads back down, this happens. Oh. I hate these stairs. Yeah, it'd be quite hard to walk down. Very like steep and ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh, she locked him in. She's gonna the kill the you. Lock mysteriously closes on its own. Yeah, you're a to me now. Manisha <laughs> tragically passed away in hopes of communicating with her spirit. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh. Manisha, are you st are you still here? Or are you? Well, she goes in the bed the next night? to him. Slides down. Takes a nap. Oh, she's having a bath. Bath first, then nap. I'm so cold. <laughs> I've got chills right now. Oh. Oh my fucking. 
fucking god! Oh, I actually got a fucking fright! Oh! Shit, I wasn't expecting that. He gave me a fright. The imp, the fucking thing in the bath gave me a fright. Oh! That poor ghost woman, she was trying to have a shower and he just got a bath and he just came in and seen her and she's like, Wah! <laughs> Venetia? No, nah, she's not coming out now. He's seen her naked. <gasps> Holy shit! Venetia, I follow these footsteps. Am I gonna find you? Oh, fuck me. Yes, you will. <gasps> now she's slid. Okay, Venetia. Oh my god. Oh, now she's in the fridge. I think it's time that we met face to face, right? Oh my god. Absolutely not. No. I go away. I know. What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you going to the basement? Are you insane? Don't go in there. Don't go in the basement. Venetia? What's wrong with you? Don't go in there. She's just gonna be like, eh, no. Oh no, now she's not. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you going down there, dude? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, Manisha, do you know? If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I thought we were friends. I think she's like, nah. It suddenly turns on, and when Jordan checks it out, he finds someone or something standing in the bathtub. Oh, that's so creepy. Whatever, or whatever it is appears to be dressed in red. The figure then disappears from the bathroom, leaving behind only watery footprints that lead down to the basement. When Jordan follows the footprints down, the lid of the washing machine lifts and drops on its own. Oh, did it? Oh! Then a light bulb next to the washer spontaneously bursts. <sighs> oh. oh yeah, there it is. Fuck. A static camera pointing towards the door to the basement and the door to the attic records as Jordan heads back upstairs. Without the investigator knowing, the camera catches something truly bizarre. Oh, there's a red pod. Anisha? Uh-huh. Uh oh, is that him or her? No, it's him. Oh, there's a red pod. Anisha? A shadow figure oh. quickly darts into the living room as Jordan comes around the corner of the basement. I didn't even see the shadow figure. So could this be the spirit of Manisha still trapped inside the home? I think so. With her son? I think so. She was in her red dress, which is probably her nighty, And then she went down to the basement and because she realised, she's like, oh shit, I just went and got my red dress all wet because I was stupid and went into the shower with it. So she plodded down the stairs, slipped, obviously, and then put it in the washing machine because as a ghost, she still has to do her chores. And that sucks. I think that's what happened. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more terrifying activity and a possible conversation Ooh. with Manisha's mm. ghost over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Hide and seek. Oh no. Jordanian ghost hunter Ahmad Sali sets out to investigate a home that's been terrorized by extreme paranormal activity. The father of the family who lives in the house reached out to Ahmad claiming to have seen the apparition of a little boy. He says the child spirit plays with his daughter's toys, often screaming and throwing fits of rage. What? The family believes the boy to be a dangerous shape-shifting djinn, and they feel that it is uh. no longer safe to live in their home. Ahmad stays overnight as he tries to get answers for the terrified family. He streams his investigation live on Snapchat. As the investigator walks around- Why is it always on, like, Snapchat and things? I don't have Snapchat. I've not had Snapchat and friggin', like, God, 2024. Last time I had Snapchat was 2016, and I barely used it, like, at all. Why are they not streaming on YouTube or streaming on, like, Twitch or something so it's something that I can have an account on and then I can watch this stuff? My God. Around the house, mm, nothing much seems to happen. So he puts down his phone and decides to walk away from it, hoping something might appear while he's not observing. His live audience is shocked by what the phone captures. Oh, 
كويس تبعتوا لنا صوت كويس روح نتاكد لما تفصل تفصل السناب كامل تشوف انا راح يطلع ولا ما راح يطلع هوي <تصفيق> شيت او بيلي بوز او ماي جاد او جاد That's really disturbing. Ahmad is looking away and has no idea that the little boy has made a chilling appearance. Unaware of the lurking jinn, Ahmad records himself as he steps inside the same room, right next to the figure. <laughs> Good luck. The explorer still doesn't see anything, but his live audience does. Why are they not seeing anything, or are they? <laughs> So they can see it through the camera, but he can't in real life, I guess. <sighs> it looks so fake. I will say that it does look fake, but if it's not, it's really creepy. It's creepy either way, actually. <laughs> So he's seen it this time. Hello. Right, we seen it too. I'm out of shock when he sees the boy. Hello. Wanna play? That's what it's saying. There's no one there. And from here, the paranormal activity only intensifies. A few moments <gasps> later, <laughs> and this happens. <gasps> oh, what? What well, runs to him? Oh no, I don't like that. Oh my god, stopped. As soon as he walked in. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I hate when they do that so fast. Something makes another quick appearance and Ahmad suddenly hears a loud slamming sound in the other room. When he goes to check it out, again, there's nothing there. Ahmad is baffled and continues to search throughout the house. <laughs> <gasps> oh, there it is again. Run, run to it. Run before it gets away. What happens when he gets it? Like, is he going to exercise it? Don't. What are you doing? Oh, it starts screaming. Oh, God. Again, the boy shows himself. Ahmad runs to find the child, but he has disappeared yet again. So did the investigator capture the djinn that is said to haunt the family? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram here, my Twitter here, and TikTok. If you're not subscribed, <laughs> and do like TikTok notifications. So hopefully I'll see you back here again next time. Well, thank you for that, Nuke. Okay, well, that ends the video, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed and got lots of frights just like myself. Please remember to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And you can see some more of me getting frightened and also some creepy passes I've been doing as of late. And if you have any suggestions for videos um, going forward, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what parts you got, um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you got scared at the most. Post. But I shall catch you all next time. Have a really awesome rest of your day, whatever it is you get up to. Have lots of fun. Bye for now.